Good morning, everyone. I'm going to tackle the topic, should women preach and teach within the congregation? Now, this is a hot topic, and it is quite possible that I might catch heat on this. But to be in fear of catching heat, that would be in fear of human beings. At Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, we read, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We should not seek approval from men, because to do so would be in fear of men. We should seek approval from God. So, I fear God. It doesn't matter what human beings say about a particular teaching. If that teaching didn't come from God and His Son, then I reject it. So, should women preach and teach in a congregation. Well, consider this. In the beginning, God created the man. The woman came from the man. Jesus chose 12 men as his apostles, that is, his representatives. There were no women chosen. Teaching and preaching are positions of headship. They're positions of leadership. Now, if one goes to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, the Apostle Paul writes this. But I want you to realize that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. Would a man purport to lead Christ to be his head? No. So why would a woman presumed to be the head of the man. This is about God's arrangement, not this arrangement in the world where, oh, everything goes, it's okay for a woman to preach and to teach. This is God's arrangement. That is why I began this video quoting Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let me begin with men. If men do not respect Christ as being their head and would purport to be his head, that is, stand in front of him and lead him, then why would a woman place herself in front of a man to lead him, to teach to him and to preach to him? That is not showing wisdom and that is not showing fear of the Lord. That is being disrespectful to God and being disrespectful to his arrangement. I didn't create this arrangement. God did. So I'm not going to place Christ behind me and be his leader. I follow him. He's my head and God is his head. So why would women place themselves in positions of headship over the man? Well, the reason why is because it's a political thing. In this modern age with these air quote modern women, they pull into the mix, the prevailing political winds enter into the teaching. But that violates God's arrangement. Personally, I do not allow women to teach and preach to me because when they attempt to do so, because that tells me right then and there that they have no respect for God's arrangement. They have no respect for God. And they certainly do not have any respect for men. So the question here is not so much should a woman preach and teach. It is more accurate to say, should a woman place herself in a position of a headship over the man? And that covers everything. That is her preaching and teaching a man in matters of God and Christ. She shouldn't do it. And if she does, then she's basically telling you right then and there that she has no respect for God. God's arrangement, and she doesn't have respect for you, the man. So I don't allow it. No woman will preach to me. And yes, that does sound misogynistic. Yes, it does. But it isn't. That's God's arrangement. Who do you think Eve's head was? Her husband, Adam. God gave the command not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and bad to who? Adam. We read no place in the Genesis account where God gave that command to the woman. 
Why? Because the woman had not come on the scene yet. So it was the responsibility of the woman's head, Adam, to give the command that God gave him to her. We have a religious system today, an entire religious system that does not respect God's headship principle written there at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. That religious system places itself in between you and your head, Christ Jesus. Yes, Christianity makes itself the head of the masses, telling you what to think, what to believe, and to join them and to follow them rather than you following the one that you should be following, Christ himself. So no, women are not to place themselves in positions of headship over the man. That is not my arrangement. That is God's arrangement. And I fear God more than I fear any human being. And so should you, man or woman. This is R. Jerome Harris, the disciple. Thank you for listening.